and to tell you as of now the country situation is absolutely no problem and tourism is booming we are ready to welcome any tourists from anywhere as at this stage Good evening everybody my name is Mukesh Jaga and I'm from venue.events today we are at the Sate booth of Sri Lanka and uh, at the expo center Greater Noida I had today have my guest Mr Nalin Pereira who is the managing director for Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau good evening sir good evening thank Welcome you very to much the show. thank you very much for visiting uh, our stall yes yeah, sir uh, i'd like to know that what is the current situation for a tourist take point of view if one wants to visit uh, Sri Lanka as a destination? Well, actually, current situation is we are safe and secure. Yeah. And country has absolutely no problem. That's something that if I can assure on behalf of Sri Lanka tourism. Because if we really see after the COVID pandemic, I think the country went through a bad economic crisis situation. But we are a very resilient nation. Yeah. We always bounce back very strongly. And to tell you, as of now, the country situation is absolutely no problem and tourism is booming and the economy is getting stable so we are ready to welcome any tourists from anywhere as at this stage um, I second your point because when in the past you had the terrorism issues and the other global crisis and Sri Lanka really came back and at that time also when you came out with the schemes of one plus one we had hordes and hordes of people and everybody wanted to go to Sri Lanka. So I'm also confident that could be second year point that you will all bounce back and you have already said that it's a very safe country. Yeah, because I think numbers do the justice and the, uh, the proof in the end. If you see in 2022, we had about 7,000, 750,000 tourist arrivals. When we were able to double that in 2023, which is almost close to 1.5 million arrivals. Right. And as I speak, we have hit a double hundred. Right. In December 2023, we had 200,000 plus, and January, we were able to have another 200 uh, plus arrivals. That shows the people have confidence. People know that they are visiting a secure and a safe destination. So in that sense, uh, the country is ready to welcome. And we may be a bit optimistic, but our targets are set for 2024 is 2.3 million but I am very confident we will touch close to 2.5 million. Okay. So that's very good and uh, obviously the flights which are from India, how many flights uh, are at present operating and from which all cities are Well I would say if you consider India I think the air connectivity is one of the best here. Yeah. So our national carrier is flying in addition to that we have most of the Indian Airlines flying. The most encouraging thing is that we see an increase in the charter flights. Right. So as far as the air connectivity is concerned, right now there is no major problem. But still we have little areas to improve where some of the cities don't have direct connectivity. But we are in discussion with the airline operators to make sure that we iron out some of the issues that are there and to ensure that the connectivity part is con uh, uh, that issue is basically uh, arrested. What are sir, the, uh, Mr. Nandin, the products uh, which are now more coming up uh, apart from the existing ones which you have? Well, like if you really from tourism see, point of view. Yeah, because if you really see traditionally, Sri Lanka was known for the sun and the beaches. Right. So people are mainly coming for the leisure. But today, as I always say, we are a diversified country. Right. And we have so many that we can offer. We are small, but we have so much of diversity. So in that said, so today, if people have become more, they, you know, you can't go to the market with the one size fits all. It doesn't happen. So today, we, if the, your mobile device basically decides, you know, long years back, we went on a trip. Or either they used to say we went on a holiday, or we went on a vacation. But today what they do is, we are going to experience. Yes, that's, that's, that's a, a big change which has that's come That's a big in. change that has come in the tourism sector. So with that said, be it religious, cultural, uh, wildlife, water sports, 
marine tourism, adventure, adventure, historical, historical. You know, spiritual. you name it, spiritual. You name it. We have in this small country which we can offer. In addition to that, we see even the mice market yeah. and even the weddings Wedding. and even the film production uh, is getting a very positive response as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. So, with that said, I'm sure anyone who is planning a holiday or a visit to a destination such as Sri Lanka, you're making the right choice because you're going to get anything and everything other than the sun, other than the snow, right. which we would uh, guarantee if you make a visit to Sri Lanka. I agree with you, sir. Small is always good to call. You're right. You're spot on. And the, 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 the more than it's beautiful, it, the, the kind of the, what we add to the beauty is, you know, the quick uh, movement within the country. So you can go from one end to the other within no time. Yeah, within no time. And you know, we are also in the process of getting our domestic airline connectivity sorted. So with that said, any tourist coming to Sri Lanka is going to definitely enjoy the stay. And I am sure our repeat travelers are very high, somewhere in the range of 35%. That shows something that we have unique. Yeah. And I am sure anyone who make the decision will be... Two things which come to my mind. One is, as you said, you talked about the mice part that more and more now people are ready to come in and that's a very positive sign uh, and then we have the Bollywood or the Hollywood people who want to come and shoot over there are there any incentives uh, which are available to them well actually the it will vary there are few in place but that will vary depending on the number the kind of activity that you have planned yeah so there is no one set you know you have guidelines Guidance. but there is no one set uh, of what you say but it will vary from project to project so these are inducements that are being put into place yeah my idea of asking this question was because obviously this is going to be viewed by the tour operators corporates and the individuals uh, who are planning to visit over there or the film crew people so once they know that okay there are guidelines which are set up and then they can come over there and then the final details they can always check it up from the local tourist office or whatever they are exactly because uh, 64 dmcs are represented yeah and some hotels so which shows the confidence that they have and the potential that they see in this market so if we don't have a proper product i don't think they will make an investment of this nature and will be present here today Definitely, I totally agree with you that few days back when you did your presentations uh, at the Shangri-La, uh, New Delhi, uh, I was amazed to see the kind of uh, number of people who had come in as DMCs and uh, obviously they have got business, that is why they are coming here. They know the value that uh, yeah, they will get business, so it's, it's very heartening that there is good amount of business coming in for, for everybody. Over well, actually, here. if you see uh, from India, India has been one of our main source markets. And for the last three years, they have been always topping the list and contributing about close to 20% of the to total tourist arrivals. So that's the confidence builder as far as this market is concerned for everyone. And I'm sure we are yet to see the real potential of this market. I actually I agree and uh, even our Honorable Prime Minister when he did the Ayodhya event on the 22nd January 2024 and I was able to see that there are uh, Ramayana trails packages which are there and which will be an extension and a more newer set of people visiting your country. Exactly, like how I say this, you know, there are a lot of cultural, spiritual connectivity within these two countries. So sometimes what you start here, the end will be there or the start will be there, you can end it up at this end. So that's the very reason why we look at this market in a very positive way and uh, making big investment as far as promotional activities are concerned. So we have been very active the last three or uh, two years, mainly in the tier one uh, cities. Now as a strategy, we are looking at uh, tier two from the first quarter. So you will see our continuous presence as far as the promotional activities are concerned in this Indian market. I can give you one very small feedback and a very positive one. As you rightly said that tier 2. All these bigger uh, consumer FMC, FCMG companies or the other automobile companies, now they are targeting the tier 2 and tier 3. And that is where the real business lies. So I'm sure that mm, you have already got the insight and uh, you'll get more business and that's good for both the countries 
from tourism point of view and tourism brings in only peace exactly thank so, you very much thank sir. you very much sir thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you all your support yeah. thank you thank you